I think walking a dog on a rainy day is a great time to respond to this comment. So I guess me personally, I don't have much of a problem with the idea that if I downloaded my brain into a computer or a robot body or something, that there would be some other version of me that wouldn't be experiencing what that version was. Like, yes, there will be a version of me that feels like they were transferred to this computer, and there's a version of me that will feel like it was left behind and nothing happened. And to me, that feels kind of like an act of radical self-love. Because you will feel what it's like to be downloaded into a new body or something, and you also won't. There will be a version of you that does feel that, and a version of you that doesn't feel that. And you have to be comfortable with that. You have to be comfortable with the idea that you will definitely not experience this, so that a version of you will definitely experience this. You are essentially giving everything that you are, all of your memories, all of your experience, all of your life, to a new version of you that can go on and live without you. It's like the most radical act of self-love you could do because you're giving so much to someone you can never be. And for me, I find something really beautiful about that. I get that not everyone feels the same way, but like to give myself a chance that myself will never have, to foster a version of myself that I could never be, that's like doing a nice thing for myself and doing a nice thing for someone else all at once. Like I said, an act of radical self-love.